Good afternoon all here in this video lecture we will discuss about the pivoting what is pivoting and what is a pivot table here in IP in a data frame we can see a data frame in the different different angles right here just see I am going to start the concept by taking taking an example here just see if we are having this type of data frame the name of the data frame is df1 and here the indexes are student is the index of the data frame and question and mask these two columns are there right here just say it is a data frame related with a NCQ examination conducted recently in a, a particular school here the student yes in question one he got one mark again the same student in question 2 he got 4 marks and in question 3 again he got 4 marks here yeah. so the first 3 records are belong to the student Yash next 3 record be records belong to uh, Kushi and the last 3 record related with Misha here now this is a data frame and here if we want to see the data frame in a different angle just see I have created two different data frame based on this actual data frame here just see it is the very first data frame and what is there in this data frame a student here columns are converted questions are treated as column just see question it is a second column of the actual data frame and here in this table in this data frame I just rotate the column according to question 1, question 2 and question 3. The questions are the columns here. A student, this is the index over here and then what is there inside the data frame, marks of the student are there inside the data frame. Marks are distributed into different rows and columns here. Now, if you want to see the same data frame in a different angle, just see, uh, we can create this data frame also by using the same data frame. Just see what is there? Here, this data frame is based on questions. Question 1, question 2 and question 3, these are the indexes here. And then the student name, Yash, Kushi and Misha, these student names are treated as columns over here. And see, marks are distributed inside the data frame so by using this data frame we will get the total marks of Yash, the total marks of Kushi and the total marks of Misha here by applying a sum function and if we want to uh, see this particular data frame by using this data frame we can calculate who is the topper of each and every question suppose question 1 Kushi is the topper in question 1 Kushi got maximum marks out of all his students here then in question number 2 Yash and Kushi both are at the number 1 position uh, with this 4 marks and again question number 3 Misha is the topper in question number 3 so the same data frame can be accessed can be viewed in two or more than two different angles right only two angles are there on the board as an example here but you can convert the data frame into different different angles so that you can get the specific report you can get the specific result by which technique now the question is by which technique we will arrange the data frame into different different reporting styles here for that just see it is the concept of pivot table right by using the concept of pivot table we can convert our data frame into different different reports into different different reporting based data frames right now here we have to uh, summarize the concept what is a pivot table here right just in the first point summary technique works on a tabular data pivoting is a summary technique that we can uh, establish on a specific data frame or we can say on the specific tabular data what is there in the data frame data frame is an example of tabular data only right so just see what is the second point here pivoting rearrange the data from rows and columns here rows and columns are rearranged by using a specific technique rows it will become a column and columns it will become an uh, it will become a row again 
right so here pivoting rearrange the data from rows and columns by possibly rotating possibly rotating rows and columns or by aggregating right by aggregating data from multiple sources in a report form right so just see what is there in this data frame here in this data frame indexes are student only now we just rotate here this data frame first the column question it is divided into columns and marks are arranged in a data frame as a value here clear and if you see the second data frame here original data frame contain student as an as an index but here in this data frame questions are treated as an index here right so rows and columns are rearranged in a possibly uh, possibly a manner so that we can uh, get a report form from a given data frame right now just see what is there in the third point it is a technique to rearrange the columns and rows in a report form so as to view data from different dif different angles here. right two angles are there on the board just see and at the last so this is the pivoting now how we can create a pivot table by a given data frame for that in python in python panda we are having a pivot function pivot all the alphabets are in small letter we have a pivot function in python panda and how you can use the pivot function just see you just use this pivot function with a data frame it means what data frame should be created first and after the data data frame creation we will use pivot function on the specific given data frame right so how you can use the pivot function you just use you just apply the pivot function on a data frame data frame dot pivot and here this function is having three different attributes index index means what the column which you want to convert as an index so you just write the column name over here then the columns means the specific column that you want to arrange as n n number of columns here here also you just give any column name that is available in your data frame and values values contain the 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 digits or we can say the representation of data the representation of values that are there inside the data frame inside the pivot table right so this is the very simple function now how we can apply the function on a data frame just see here the actual data frame is this one and if we want to create this data frame just see what is there a student it is treated as an index so my command is pvt1 yeah this pivot function will generate will create an another data frame and here you have to supply a specific name for the data frame pvt1 it is a newly created data frame it is created by the pivot function here so df1 is my data frame name dot pivot here inside the bracket index equal to student means what the student column is treated as an index here so just see student and then computer is going to aggregate combine these three yes converted into a single record three records of koshi converted into a single record and then misha also the same thing will happen right now just see index equal to a student comma columns equal to questions question One, two, three questions are there. So question number one, two, and three. These are treated as columns of the newly created PVT one data frame. And then values equal to marks. What is there? These are the values. It is distributed inside the data frame, right? So if you supply this command, you will create. this data frame in python now just see if you want to create this data frame just see what is there in this data frame what is the index here index is questions so our command is pvt2 equal to df1 dot pivot index equal to questions so questions are treated as an uh, index values and then just see what is there in the column students name are there in the column so columns equal to student 
and what is there inside the data frame marks are there inside the data frame so values equal to marks right by giving this command you will create the pivot table too you will create a new data frame and the name of the data frame is pvt2 right so here by using pivoting we can generate a reporting output from a given data frame right i hope you understand the concept we will discuss a question in the next video that is related with this pivoting right thank you very much